waste 1.3 billion tons of food annually globally. And that's enough food to feed every hungry person that's alive today. And we're not only wasting that food and, the, and those calories and those nutrients, we're wasting the labor and the inputs and all of the other things that went into making that food. So if we can tackle food loss and food waste, you know, with better infrastructure, simple things like better roads, better cooling centers, uh, better storage equipment, we can make a huge leap. The movement to change uh, the definition of expiration and use by and sell by dates in the United States, we throw away food every day that's perfectly good because we look at the, the number on the, you know, the, the container of sour cream or whatever and we're like, oh gosh, it must be bad. And we, we forget to trust our own senses. And as climate becomes more unpredictable, they're having a harder time uh, getting water to their crops. Uh, but things like rainwater harvesting, um, different production methods like cover crops, uh, agroforestry methods that help uh, keep water and soils, these are all things that farmers can do to make sure they're getting more crop per drop. People are figuring this stuff out and they're doing it without a lot of help. They're doing it without a lot of investment and they're doing it without the support of governments or aid agencies and others. So it's those, those, you know, s spots of hope everywhere that are really adding up for me. And I, I feel very hopeful about the future of food.